Hey, Motorman here. Today we're going to talk about the number one question I get. Of all the questions, uh, you see the comment section and people asking me stuff and they send me emails. Yeah, the number one question is, what helmet is that we see you wearing in the videos? And I don't know why, but I guess because it looks good. And I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. This is it. This is a Super Seer helmet or a Seer helmet, motor officer helmet. And the reason people ask me about this, I know, is because it looks really good. It's one of the few half helmets that fit close to the head and, and don't make you look like uh, some kind of creature from outer space or a, or a mushroom head. This particular helmet I've had for 21 years and it still works just fine. Now, before I go any further, I'm gonna tell you, I know that the motorcycle leisure police are out there in force and they're gonna be mad that I even mention half helmets. Well, let me tell you something. In a perfect world, everybody who rides a motorcycle would be wearing full racing leathers, a, a full racing helmet, and maybe even one of those airbag things so in case they fall down. But in a perfect world, the temperature would always be 65 degrees and it's just not like that. Let's face it, in the real world, we were lucky if people don't wear, helmet, wear a helmet at all it, it, even in states where the, there are laws, they put on fake helmets. So I know that the vast majority of cruiser riders, Harley riders especially, wear half helmets. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And a lot of people say, well, why do the cops always wear the half helmets and the t-shirts well, or the short sleeve shirts? The fact is, we ride much better than you. So we are safer to begin with. And all the gear in the world is not going to make you a safer rider if you don't know what you're doing. So get some skills. But back to the helmets. So this is the Sear helmet. And these are now about $330 they start with. Like I said, 20, 21 years, this helmet is just as good as it ever was. And the reason the cops like them so much and have been using them for 50 years is because not only do they look cool, but they are the coolest helmet. Notice the inside of this, the air circulates around here and it just keeps you cool while you're riding, even in the hottest weather. And these are replaceable. Over the years, I think I've had to replace these at least twice because they start getting a little bit thinner and you want to have it sized perfectly. And they also now, I'm going to show you this. They have a new system that you can get either one. This looks like it's going to circulate air just as well, but I haven't tried this yet. And being now in Florida here, it's we're, we're in the winter time, so we've got temperatures in, uh, you know, 60, 65 degrees, 70 degrees for most days. In the morning, it can get down to 40 with the wind chill factor. So I'm going to give this a try. But I want to show you some of the differences because there are imitations, and we happen to have one. Take a look at this helmet. This is made by a company called LS2, made in China. By the way, the Sear helmets are all made completely here in the USA, I believe in Colorado. Now, this helmet looks very similar. It's not quite as small. In other words, it doesn't fit as tight to the head as the Sear does. But this is about, uh, I think, three years old, this helmet. And take a look at this. What's happened, this was my wife's helmet. This should be vinyl over here. Well, because of the heat and humidity, the vinyl starts to peel off and little pieces of it stick to your face when you get off the helmet and you got little black marks all over the place. And this rusts. I can't believe they didn't make this out of stainless steel, but they obviously didn't or it wouldn't rust like this. This helmet, a couple of years old, is ready for the trash. The outside of it looks good, but you really don't want to wear it. And I don't see how you could actually replace this, all this rust. But on the Sear helmet, they're stainless steel. And here's a helmet that's two years old, just to give you an idea of what happens. And this isn't a cheap helmet. This, this is uh, about a $150 Bell helmet. But look what happens to the vinyl. It actually just starts chipping away. It sticks to your face. It's, it's awful. Uh, this hasn't rusted yet, and I think they may have even used stainless steel here. But you don't want to wear this helmet with all these little pieces of vinyl coming off of it. This has never been replaced. And as you can see, I believe this might be leather because not a none of it has chipped off and I mean I've worn this 12 hours a day in uh, 9500 degree heat here in Florida and it's still holding up just as it does new but after 21 years I decided maybe it's time to get a new helmet and I know that years ago they used to say keep a helmet a couple of three years and then throw it away that they're for some reason not good anymore well the new helmets by the way these are fiberglass these are plastic but even the new plastics I don't believe you have to do that anymore uh, as long as they're not cracked they should be working protecting just fine but this is the new sear and a carbon fiber helmet 
Take a look at that. Fits close to the head. And by the way, Sear not only makes the police style helmet, but they also make helmets for civilians. They have colors that match Harley Davidson paint perfectly. They also have beautiful custom paint flames and everything you could think of. So make sure you go to supersear.com and check out all the helmets. These start about $330. Uh, for this type of helmet, the carbon fiber, I think it's $3.95. The inside of it, you have these pads, and this is what they look like when they're brand new. Now, I ordered a medium helmet, but you have, if it doesn't fit perfectly, you've got these quarter inch pads that you can put in here. You've got three eighths of an inch up to a half inch, so you can make this helmet fit perfectly to your head. Again, stainless steel here, so you don't have to worry about it rusting. And they have many accessories on their website that you can get for this if you want the ear covers for the, the cooler weather or to mount speakers in and they just snap in here. And if you look at it this way, and I know you might be saying, well, I can get a helmet for 50 bucks. Well, generally you get what you pay for. Uh, I personally wouldn't wear a helmet that you could buy for 50 bucks. But if you look at it this way, this helmet right here, 21 years old, I think the original cost was around 300 back then. Uh, it was at like $10 a year it cost. This is something that's going to last you forever if you take care of it. Don't put it places where it's going to get scratched up. Don't drop it. And, and uh, But I think it would take a hell of a drop to actually cause any kind of damage to this. So I believe for the money, and if you want a long-lasting helmet that looks great and feels great, it's really cool in the summertime and makes you look cool, you got to get a Sear helmet. Take a look at their website. In fact, I heard from them. They t I told them I was going to do this review, so we're going to have a discount code put below. Make sure, you know, a lot of people don't look at this, but every time we do a video, below it we put some information on there and the links to the websites and if there's a discount or not, we'll mention that. It comes, by the way, in this nice bag and it is their 50th anniversary 50 years they've been making motorcycles motorcycle helmets for police officers and they also have the three-quarter helmets and full face helmets and these are made again completely in the USA using all USA material either the fiberglass model or the carbon fiber and before I go any further I want to remind you we've still got the special going because you know we got Christmas coming up you can get Shortcuts to Riding Like a Pro and Surviving the Mean Streets video, two of them for 20 bucks. This is not on a website. You got a call to get this deal. It's 866-868-7433 from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't be calling me from uh, Iraq or something at 3 o'clock in the morning because we're not going to answer the phone. That's two of them for $20. By the way, the main difference between shortcuts to riding like a pro and the ride like a pro video, we do not show you the motor officer section on this particular video because I know a lot of people aren't going to go that far with their practice. I, I would hope that they do. But if you'd like to get the ride like a pro, the new ride like a pro that runs two hours long, shows you the civilian course and the actual motor officer course, get it on USB. Now, this will also plug right into your phone so you could even take it with you when you practice and watch it. And it has both surviving the mean streets on the other side. It says that surviving the mean streets. I know that's kind of tiny print, but it is a total of three hours of, con of instruction on here. And everything you ever needed to know about riding a motorcycle well is on this video. It's the biggest selling motorcycle instructional video for a reason. We've sold over a million of these through the years. You can also get the download, but what happens with the download, somebody downloaded a year ago, they don't, can't find it on their computer, their computer crashed, whatever story, and they call us and they say, please, please, I lost it, what am I going to do? Well, here's how you do that. You get this, the USB, so you always have the hard copy, and then if you happen to lose it, you'd be able to get it. Plug it, uh, it, plug it in and download it onto your computer so you always have the hard copy. This is $34.95. This is on the website. So just go on ridelikeapro.com. You'll be able to get this, $34.95. And both, both come with the practice guide. This shows you how to set up the exercises and get yourself some tennis balls and cut them in half. It shows you exactly how to perform the exercise and it'll tell you the mistakes that you're going to make because nobody's making new mistakes in over 20 years. There's only there's two or three different mistakes people make and we go over that completely here. I'll wait for this truck to pass by. All right. So if you're looking for the best 
half helmet, cruiser style helmet that you could buy, it's Seer. That's the one I recommend. And like I said, you buy this one time and it's good for 15, 20 years. I've had mine for 21 years and it still works perfectly. Still just as comfortable as it was the day I got it. And the only thing that ever wears on these is these pads, which you can purchase brand new from superseer.com. Don't forget, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell so every time I come out with a new video, you'll be notified in your email. And we're doing now probably two or three videos a day. So, till, till next time. Okay, we're ready. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. What are you doing? I'm waiting for you to stop shaking that camera, moving it back and forth. Well, I'm, just trying. I'm trying my best, hon. Yeah. Do you know? Here. Do you know why? No, you're still moving. Do you know why I got that camera? Why? Tell Take me. Because it has the best image stabilization of any action camera. Paid 400 bucks for it. They had engineers, thousands of hours. All right, they, all right, all right. Thousands of hours they spent trying to get that stabilization perfect, but you've managed to defeat it every time. <laughs> all right. Are you ready? I'm going to do the best I can. Go.